Okay, this is Shia from Maui, um, giving you um, some information about Tantra to empower your life. And so I wanted to talk about pleasure today. Um, in our culture, it feels like a lot of times we're like trying to get to the point. Um, I, I imagine porn probably emphasizes this too much where you know, like somehow the end result of the orgasm is the ultimate thing to experience. And it kind of takes the, the beauty of the whole journey of pleasure out in a way. So I'm wanting to re-rig that for us today. So, um, First of all, Tantra, one of the benefits of it is you learn how to master your body and work with your body in such a way that you can have more pleasure and get more out of the sexual experience so that it is actually a deeply healing and fulfilling experience as opposed to maybe the addiction version of sexuality where you're just trying to get your orgasm and then you're kind of like, yeah... I'm not really satisfied. I, I need another one, you know, and you just keep needing another one to try to get satisfaction, probably because it's more like a sneeze orgasm instead of a full body orgasm, which is what Tantra is all about. So a concept that um, I came across at some point in my journey is that it's amazing how when you are experiencing enough pleasure and if your partner or, or tantric practitioner is giving enough pleasure, then almost like the orgasm doesn't matter anymore. It's really more about the pleasure. You're wanting to experience and go deep enough into that pleasure, which is a form of surrender, um, so that you do feel satisfied and fulfilled and your body really is getting a full experience um, on a healing level. And so I noticed myself not being so attached to the orgasm when there's so much pleasure going on because it, it's sort of a funny thing, isn't it? Because like, I guess orgasm is somewhat like getting a really big hit um, of pleasure all at once, right? And yet it's short-lived if you're not dragging it out like Tantra does. So... Um, you can make an orgasm kind of go on and on and continue the pleasure and have multiple orgasms and all that. But I also know a lot of people are just going for the orgasm and then it's over and then it's like, eh, that wasn't really, it's not as satisfying as the tantric version basically. But um, it's funny because I noticed like if you don't know what you're doing sexually and you haven't really been taught any advanced skills and you're just kind of going off of what you know or you're going off of porn or what somebody taught you or whatever, um, there's not this lingering sometimes that can happen in pleasure that's really important is to drag that out. And that's what I love about Tantra is that it it's really more about hanging out in the pleasure zone and allowing that healing pleasure to do its thing. And then you come out of it like really satisfied and fulfilled, um, especially if it's a deep, deeper um, orgasm instead of just like a clitoral or surface orgasm. So that means breathing gets involved so that it, you know, it's coursing through your whole body, that energy. Um, otherwise it's just gonna be a sneeze from like one of your chakras instead of a full body sneeze from your, you know, from your whole, all your chakras. Um, but I want to, I guess I want to invite you with your, with your partner to linger in the pleasure zones long enough to where like the orgasm doesn't matter anymore. And as, and I do want to honor orgasm because, you know, a lot of time it is, I find that tantrically, orgasm can be like this huge culmination of all this pleasure building up and then once it finally happens it's kind of like this huge release of in like a healing release um especially for women it 
it's important because <laughs> you don't want to just tease them and then leave them hanging and then they're like no this doesn't work for me <laughs> i've been there done that uh over it so <laughs> um whereas men it's opposite you guys are actually supposed to foster um holding in your seed so that you're not just wasting your life force energy and it's actually literally coming out of your body and then all of a sudden you're depleted and then it takes seven to ten days to build that back up again so yeah men and women are a little bit opposite that way but tantric men know how to have their orgasms without letting go of the ejaculate so um that's kind of the reward i guess for learning mastering your body enough to do that but the point I was trying to make is that it's not always about orgasm. It's really more about the pleasure, I think. And if orgasm can be part of that culmination, though, and that final release, that's awesome. Um, and then sometimes I find that I'm just hanging out in the pleasure zone. And the beauty of that, though, is that it just can go on and on and on, and the pleasure can keep coming and it can go on for a long time whereas if you culminate in orgasm then it's sort of over after that so in a way I'm always somewhat grateful that I'm not like coming to an orgasm too soon because then I get to enjoy this like whole journey of sensory pleasure and um, you know love in the form of sexuality that's really um, fulfilling and then, um, yeah, I mean, it can culminate or not into an orgasm, but sometimes I just notice I don't even care because I'm just getting so much out of the, the um, pleasure journey, I guess is what we could call it. So anyway, if you haven't experienced that yet, I invite you to try that with your partner and maybe watch this video together and, and check it out uh, because I think that's just not talked about enough. and broken down enough for people to understand that that's a that's a thing that's you know a tantric thing it's not really just about coming you know especially if you feel like you're, you're having to or having to perform that or like get there you know when um, you really it's really more about tuning into each other's bodies and bringing pleasure and then if orgasm culminates from that then awesome and if it doesn't it's there's at least enough pleasure there to enjoy right <laughs>